Holy cow, Jason Murphy, it's happening. It's right there. It's happening it's right real, there. It's no longer talk. It's no longer words. It's been a lot of talk for a long time. Uh, it's been a lot. Of, okay, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you have to do, but the, we're finally at the place where we're actually building stuff. This is going to be the world's largest outhouse. It's going to be. Uh, yes! <laughs> Vomitorium? Yes! We can sit there and play it episode. yourself and then go barf and then come out face to face. Pooping together, co-poopers. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> high five that. Here, come, come check this out. All right, this is the opening of like every movie. You got the the beeping, and we should be wearing hard hats and shouting at each other about what's gonna go where. Yeah, and then they unearth like a dragon. <laughs> so this is this is uh, 40 by 50, and it's gonna be 30 feet tall on one side. 20 feet tall on the other, and it's gonna have like a split level like loft thing in there. So we'll have a second story that we can either enclose or not, but this is gonna be huge. Uh, and for some reason, this is happening before we have a <laughs> because uh, we're still rocking we the still porta potties over toilet. there. <laughs> we still don't have a toilet. First thing is fixing the sound in here, right? Uh, yes, and then number two, so to speak, is install a septic system. We gotta be able to poop. The fact is we closed on this property six weeks ago and it still does not have a septic system. We cannot poop at the world headquarters of the modern rogue. So they asked me, they're like, what do you want to do with all these trees we dug up? I'm like, ah, <laughs> they're like, how about we chop it up into mulch? I'm like, that sounds like a yeah, thing. Yeah, cool, mulch. That's... Oh, it smells really good. Oh. Oh. Ah, no, no, no. Is this like a CrossFit thing? Is that, <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> oh my God. So the idea is we want to have like concentric rings, whisper lines coming out so that it ends up looking like a Stonehenge or something. So you just have this feeling of like, this is a gravitational well that sucks you in. All right, so the septic people came out and they dug, technically they were testing soil in all these areas, but now in addition to everything else on the property, we just have random graves dug everywhere. <laughs> is that what that is out, out there? Uh, all of them all over the place. I kept finding <laughs> those and I was like, I'm really disappointed you're not letting me in on it's this. It's really convenient. Oh, also I found out that, that we do not, as I thought, we do not have a fox on the property. We have two foxes oh, on the property. We gotta name them. Oh shoot, that's right. No, they, they have to name them. So this is where uh, the, the septic system's going in, which means all of this will be very green. That's fox poop right there. Yeah. Man, foxes, get on the deck. <laughs> I mean, no, they're saying that, that's their way of saying howdy and welcome. Oh, it's uh, okay. Inside, nothing has changed. We're gonna do all of that in the next two to three weeks. But so expect a lot more updates coming up. But in the meantime, uh, oh, we got a P.O. box. So if people want to help us decorate this place. Is it down here it's, right it's, now? Yes, it's down here right now okay. in the place. Check the notes. In the Oh, do you want to unwrap at the VIP event that we did at the South by So Wasted? Is there a gift? We got a gift. And I said I didn't want to open it until you were here because it was for both of us. Is it family friendly? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some writing. Wait for it. Is it dick butt? Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. This is our version of, uh, of love, live, live, love life, or whatever. <laughs> it's our motivational poster. I like, love it. Chase Steele, this is great. Oh, that's good. Oh, this is it, congratulations. Uh, we need more decorations. Yeah, we do. Okay, uh, so one of the ideas that I had was I would love to fill, because we got three bedrooms, we want to set them up as like a, a gentleman warrior scoundrel. It would be great if we could get a collection of like framed portraits of like, you know, Harry Houdini and Bruce Lee and yes, all that stuff. Yes. You know, autographed or autographed. <laughs> That's what it, that was one of my favorite things I always did is whenever I buy someone a book, I would always cite it as if it was the author <laughs> because it would make them happier. And they'd be like, is this really signed by? And I was like, yeah. Like, oh. All right, here, we'll set, set, set this up. Okay, so I guess that brings us to our first unboxing. Okay. I, uh, I didn't think this was gonna be a thing. What do we got here? You ever have an opportunity and you're like, that's just so perfect, that definitely belongs at my place? Absolutely, yes. Okay, we did that, uh, and it's this. The guillotine, that, that was uh, But that I, was mine. I kind of got us a full set of legitimate plate armor. That armor is serious. <laughs> it's for reals. Oh you, man. You wanna, you wanna open it up? Finally some proper safety gear this, around this here. This is for all the people complaining about our yes. lack of safety. We're all gonna right. be so safe. Yeah, let's uh, let's tear into this, huh? All right. Man, I ain't gonna use a knife. You might cut yourself with a knife. I'm gonna use my uh, uh, utility key, available at scamstuff.com. 
It's perfect for opening these packages. So this suit of armor belonged to John Teasdale, who co-created the contender, and he used it to cosplay as a character called Attack Knight, the night attack knight that might attack night attack. <laughs> and the bit was, we would do the show, but at any given moment, we might say something that might displease him, and he would get halfway up and get ready to attack, but never actually attack. So he was always in that super position. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna start putting this on, and I'll unpack the rest. No? You don't wanna get all knighted up? You wanna feel what it feels like to get your ass kicked by a knight? Do it! Ugh. Yeah! That was a lot of work. That was exhausting, but worth it. Behold! The rogue knight! Rogue knight, come forward! And claim your, do you need a hand? Are you going to hurt yourself? There, there you go. He's a very decrepit old, no, he's he's been in that suit of armor for a very long time. What? What? Who on earth? Trevor Ferenbach! <laughs> How do you smoke in this thing? <laughs> Dude, we have a freaking suit of armor! How does it feel? Uh, I'm living out one of the weirdest fantasies I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my oh. childhood come true. You look That's phenomenal. Cool. It's all happening faster than we ever dared dream. So uh, let's hear from you guys. What do you guys want? This is, uh, this is, kill him now. Oh. This is, it's fine, it's fine. It's knighting it's him. Knighting him. Oh, good. The first knight, you're he's probably, the first probably of supposed, his to, name. supposed yeah. to kneel, but I, I'm not gonna I make you do I don't think that. I could kneel and get back up <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's a true modern rogue. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't kneel because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tallest I've ever been able to see the view. What are we looking at? Uh, uh, Joy Behar, uh, uh, Star Jones. No? I'm gonna throw myself <laughs> to my like, death. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bryce, Bryce liked it. That's fine. <laughs> I see all these opinions. <laughs> uh, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs>